G'day guys, it's Sean Higgins here from the North Melbourne Football Club. I'm here today for Macca's Chat to a Champion. Thanks for all your questions, I'll answer some of them now. Hey Janine, how are you going? Thanks for your question. Very good point in regards to Nathan Grimer. One of the funniest guys I've played with. Unfortunately, I only spent a couple of moments with Nani, but um, currently on the list, I get the opportunity to sit next to Mad Jack Door in team meetings, uh, and he keeps the mood pretty light, and he's one of the funniest boys at the club. Hey Johnny, thanks for your question. Uh, I'll get you down to do my next contract. I'd love to still be playing by the time I'm 35 years of age. Looking forward to spending a few more years at the club. Thanks for your question, Savannah. I was a Mad Geelong supporter growing up. I used to love to get down to Caninia Park, watch Gary Abbott Senior play. The two guys that I tried to model my game up when I was growing, growing up was Simon Black and also Ben Cousins. Hey Emily, when I'm not at the club, I love to spend some time on the golf course. We've recently just had our first little baby, so she keeps us busy. Um, unfortunately, I don't get as much downtime throughout the year to play golf as much as I'd like, but a number of us guys get together during the pre-season and try and have a hit as much as possible. Hey Cameron, I've got a pretty simple match day routine. I don't get caught up with too many superstitions. Um, I get to the ground two and a half hours before the game, go through my routine at the ground, in the morning, get up nice and early, go for a walk, have some breakfast. If it's a night game, I'll get down to the sea bars and go for a swim, and then hopefully get out there and get a kick. Thanks for the question, Paul. Unfortunately, you'll find the worst singer that there is, not just at this football club, but in the AFL. I'll leave the young boys to the music pre-game. You'll see that we've got a bit of a routine post-game as well. When we win, that we get in the locker rooms, the boys jump around, carry on a little bit and sing a song. So I'll leave it to the guys well underneath my age and I'll just join in on the back of that. Thanks for your question, Ryan. Yeah, it's a great responsibility for us to be in the leadership group. Obviously with a young list as well, it's even more responsibility for us to make sure that they're on track. We try and keep, teach them the right behaviours, create the right environment for them to get the best out of themselves both on and off the field. Unfortunately, they don't always listen as young guys do these days, but um, we've got a really good bunch of guys and for the majority of the time, everyone's on board, um, which contributes to us having a really good game on the weekend and hopefully winning some more finals. Hey Megan, thanks for the question. Um, unfortunately, didn't have too many other plans if it wasn't for footy when I was growing up through my teenage years. I was mad with football. My dad played, he was involved with footy clubs. I was always around the local footy club and that was my number one focus and dream to play league football. So fortunately enough, it worked out for me and loving my time, especially here at North Melbourne. Good question, Shane. Yeah, the 666 was obviously introduced for the first time this year. There was a lot of talk about it, particularly early on in the year. It probably took us a little bit of time to adapt to it. I think we're across it now, as are most teams in the competition. Our last five to six weeks through the middle of the ground with the 666 have been really good. Personally for me, I always just look to find ways to get better, particularly with the way that the games move forward this year and a few introductions of different rules, that over the pre-season, along with all the other guys, I sit down with the coaches, work out what I was doing really well in 2018, and then how I can work towards maintaining that and also improving different areas of my game for 2019, and I'll do exactly the same moving forward. Thanks Wanda Lama, I love the name. Look, coaching is something that I've always had an interest in. Uh, I think it goes hand in hand with playing a leadership role at the football club as well. I love watching football, I watch other games. Um, I work closely with our younger guys at the football club as well. So I'm looking forward to still play for another few years and then beyond that, I would be keen to explore the coaching path. Thanks for all your questions, guys. Really appreciate it. To Emily, question of the day in regards to what we get up to away from football. Here's a signed footy from me to you. I hope you enjoy it.